So like for the last couple of days, my neighbors have had this tour bus in their driveway. I don't know what's going on here. Top of the morning to you all. So Maddie and I, my road dog, Maddie, are heading out to run a few errands. I've got to get to the bank for myself and also for the son because apparently I have become his personal assistant. But first, we must find food. I am getting hangry. I'm starving and we went to the McDonald's by our house, um, but the line was incredibly long. And yes, I know I could have ate something at home, but I didn't want to. How about that? I didn't want to. So yeah, we're going to find food and then get our errands going. And since Maddie didn't get her pillow yesterday at the 99 cent store, She's baboozled me into taking her to the bigger 99 cent store on the other side. You know, Manny, as I'm thinking about it, we should have went the other way because there was a 99 cent store down on the back end, like going towards the mall. And we haven't been there in a while. We should have went to that one, but oh well, it's too late for that now. All right, so um, I guess we'll see you guys in the store. I just got to take a moment to recognize how great I am. It's not even 12 noon and my dinner is pretty much already done. Check this out. And it smells so good. Mason, I see you creeping. I'm going to need you to go and, and take care of that situation. Why well, like you got the same clothes you had on yesterday? Yeah. Um, Daddy said, did you sleep in those clothes? Let's go see what he's talking about. Did you sleep in those clothes? It's this guy. Cut some light on so y'all can see him. This this guy. He's looking all sad because we got to go to the store and get him a hair pick because him not going to comb out the nappy hair he got. Come on, baby. Get yourself together so we can get going. We're going to come right back. It's going to take us less than 10 minutes if you hurry up and stop moaning. Let me tell y'all, my boys are more drama than my girls. But back to my greatness. I'm just saying it's not even... 12 noon okay it's like it's like 11 30 so i guess you could say it's 12 noon but it's not and my dinner is pretty much already done give me the points bye y'all
have the floor for just a moment. Just a moment. I'm going to end the vlog today on this note. If I can say anything to you guys, let me say this. Stop wasting your time, your energy, your talents on people that don't value you. That goes from strangers on the street, your neighbors, friends, family members, co-workers, the whole loop. If they cannot see the value that you possess, the value that you bring, the value that you are, stop wasting your time and energy trying to get them to see so. Long story short, without getting into all the dirty details, someone that, in my opinion, kind of rubbed me the wrong way one, one too many times, let me just say that, had the nerve to call and, you know, like nothing was wrong and shoot the breeze and one thing about me is that once i get to the point of being done i'm done that's just it one thing about me i'm not gonna say that that's the best quality that i have but it is who i is yes i said that is who i is because it is but seriously stop allowing people to devalue who you are and what you stand for and by doing so, you're going to make room for those that actually value you. That's the best way I can put it. You're going to make room for those that actually value you. And you want that in your life. We don't need anyone or anything other sucking the pure energy and life out of us. We have enough of that in our day-to-day -day grind. Really, we do. So again, guys, stop allowing people that don't value you to be so high regarded in your life. I'm not saying you have to be mean or ugly or what have you, but what I am saying is that you have to put yourself first and limit yourself to people because people will take advantage. When people know that, you know, you may be a resource for whatever, that you may or may not have a little bit of um, knowledge in your old nugget, they will by all means take advantage of that when it fits them. And if they are not filling up your cup but only constantly taking out of your cup, it's time to cut them loose. It's time to cut them loose, especially this day and age. Life is too short to be sitting there and, in my opinion, just wasting time with those that do not value you. So on that note, guys, thanks, as always, for watching, supporting, hanging out with us as we do life, which we don't do much around here. <laughs> and all of that but as always please like comment share and subscribe if you have not done so already this is a place of acceptance i will say i don't judge you do you i do me and we can all be happy that's kind of how i look at it but i would love to have you here as part of the community if you are not already so definitely hit the red subscribe button and join us here on our journey through this maze called life. That was a shameless plug. That's kind of like my little tagline that I use. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, stay true. I'm cutting potatoes. It's dinner time. Mm -hmm.